many people create distinctions in the divine realm and this leads to a lot of confusion for example some people will say ram naam sakalate adhika the ram naam is the biggest and krishna naam everything else is small others will say krishna naam sakalate adhika krishna naam is the biggest not ram naam so this kind of short sightedness leads to conflict many centuries ago there would be so much of hatred between the shaivs and the vaishnavs that all kinds of jokes are spread in the world there was one person who used to worship lord shiv but he did not like vishnu at all he was allergic to vishnu so to bestow special grace upon him lord shiv manifested as hari har half hari and half har okay now you realize the unity between me and vishnu however he was so obstinate in his views he was now worshiping hari har it was a self manifest deity however when he would offer agarbatti he would press the nose of vishnu so that he should not smell it <laughs> this is meant only for shiv so shankar ji became annoyed with him he said you are not going to reform yourself i curse you you will develop great hatred for vishnu after that he became so allergic to vishnu that if anybody would say vishnu vishnu he would get annoyed now the children came to know that this person is allergic to the name vishnu so for children it is a game whenever he would go by they would say vishnu vishnu to insulate himself from that he put on two bells on his ears ghanties whenever anybody would say vishnu vishnu he would turn his head and the bells would ring so he would not hear it that is why his name became ghanta karana now this point needs to be resolved that are these different gods because the bhagavatam says ete chaancha kala pumsa krishnas tu bhagavan swayam इंद्रारिम व्याकुलम लोकम मृडयंति युगे युगे दैट द अदर अवतार्स वर अंश और अंश कलास एंड कृष्ण वाज स्वयं भगवान सो वाज कृष्ण 100% एंड द अदर 75 50% इज देयर सम सच ऑर्डर इन द भगवानस एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्टिंक्शन becomes more emphasized when tulsidas ji the great devotee of ram he went to vrindavan and shri krishna gave him darshan in his murli manohar chavi actual darshan so tulsidas ji he did not bow his head He said, कहा कहो छबी आज की भले बने हो नाथ वॉट इज दिस फॉर्म ऑफ यूर आई एम सी तुलसी मस्तक तब नव जब धनुष बाण लो हाथ आई विल बाव माई हैड वेन यू होल्ड द धनुष बाण इन योर हैंड ही डिड नॉट डू प्रणाम टू श्री कृष्ण तो दिस क्रिएट्स द कंफ्यूजन दैट इज श्री कृष्ण सेपरेट and is shri ram separate and we also hear that one is purna avatar one is leela avatar one is manvantar avatar one is avesh avatar there is yuga avatar so many different kinds of avatars so what is the science behind all these avatars first of all let us start with tulsidas ji statement itself when he saw lord krishna how did he address him he nath you my master if krishna was separate and ram was separate 
why would he say hey nath and then he said hey nath hold the dhanush baan in your hand he did not say oh shri krishna become shri ram if shri krishna is a separate distinct bhagwan then his statement should be oh shri krishna please become shri ram but all he said was oh shri krishna put down this flute and hold the dhanush baan in your hand so tulsi das ji statement actually confirms that the only difference between krishna and ram is one has got the maryada swarup dhanush baan and the other has got the prema swarup murli Tulsi Das ji being a devotee in that Maryada Dasya bhav he said my lord this is not appropriate for me how can the das come into the bedroom to strengthen my dasya bhav you please hold the dhanush baan and put down the murli the Tulsi Das ji actually stated that my ram has become krishna here and my krishna is ram in the vinay patrika he says virad garib nivaj ram ko my shri ram is garib nivaj those who are shelterless those who are without any other support he is their support so he gives the example virad garib nivaj ram ko dhruv prahlad vibhishan kapipati jal patang pandav sudam ko my ram he gave shelter to the pandavas and my ram he bestowed blessings on sudama but the pandavas and sudama were in krishna avatar how can ram bestow blessings because ram and krishna are the same one god so again tulsi das ji he has always taken the humble place mo sam kon kutil khal kami but in one place he came to his naturality so he said ab main to hi janyo sansar e maya i have come to understand you you can't do anything to me now now e maya devi no matter what you do you will not be able to tie me why mohi hari ke bal i have got the bal of hari the lord So then he says further sahet sahaya vasu tah shath jehi oh you bad maya go and reside there where ridayan anand kumar ab main to hi janyo sansar who is nand kumar shri krishna so go and reside in the heart of that person where shri krishna is not residing tulsi das ji is again showing that look this krishna and ram are one and the same so all the different forms of god are manifestations of the same divinity between them there is no big and there is no small to consider one big and the other small is a naam aparad naam aparad is spiritual transgression there are five maha paps five big sins and naam aparad is bigger than all of them which destroys bhakti naam aparad means to have less than devotional feelings 
towards the names, forms, virtues, pastimes, associates and abodes of God. So the devotee sees them all as divine and all as one. The principle is that in whichever avatar kal, God had to do whatever leela, he manifested those many shaktis. The shaktis were all there. They were manifested according to need. Sarve puna shashvatascha dehas tasya paratmanaha. The Padma Purana. Ved Vyas is writing. Ved Vyas is also an avatar. So he says, Sarve puna. Sarve sarva gunai puna. Again in the Varaha Purana, he says, All the avatars are puna. We people also manifest our shaktis differently. When you go to office, you are in your three-piece suit, you are all tip-top and when you are working there, you are fully competent. And then later on, when you are in your lunchtime talking to your subordinates, you are a little relaxed. And when you come home and become that you know, couch potato watching the TV. At that time, you are totally putting on your dhoti and sitting there. Now, at that time, if somebody sees and says, is this the assistant director of Cognizant so competent? So you say, look, this is not his full competence. If you want to see how competent he is, see him when he is in the office. So based upon how much necessity was there, we manifest the Shaktis. God does exactly the same. Based upon that, these different avatar terminologies have appeared. Purna avatar, Leela avatar. But it doesn't mean that we think one is big and one is small. Our scriptures say, the Ish Upanishad says, Om Purnavada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate God is Purn, infinite. He is so Purn that if you take infinite out of Him, what will remain will be infinite. What will be taken out will also be infinite. And that is the completeness of Purnatam Purushottam Brahma. That is why we should never consider one avatar to be big and one to be small. The saints, they sometimes write like this. अरे हमको तो विष्णु की परवाह नहीं हमारे तो युगल किशोर I don't care for Vishnu Radha Krishna or mine when they write like this that is rasic language this rasic language is crooked अहिरेव गति प्रेमना like the snake when the snake goes into the pit, goes straight, and when it is going on the ground, it is going crooked. Why doesn't it go straight on the ground? Just the nature of the snake. So similarly, the nature of ras is that it is crooked. So the rasic saints, in that ras, they see all kinds of things, but their intention is never to criticize. Nahi nindya ninditum pravartate api tu vidheyam stotum. They are only joking. Sudas and Tulsidas joked with each other. Once history says that Sudas and Tulsidas met. Sudas was doing as Radhe Sham, Radhe Govind. And Tulsi Das was doing Sita Ram, Sita Ram. So Sur Das joked with Tulsi Das. 
He said, Tulsi Das, why are you doing this Sita Ram, Sita Ram? Tulsi Das said, why am I doing Sita Ram, Sita Ram? Because I love Sita Ram. They are my Ishta Dev. Surda said, why are you running after this Bara Kala Wala? This Ram avatar is of 12 colors and Krishna avatar is of 16 colors. Why don't you run after the 16 Kala Wala? Now Tulsi Das could have cut him on the basis of knowledge. But he thought, he has joke, let me also joke. Tulsi Das said, Are bhai, Sur Das, you being a Mahapurush, you speak like this. Today my love for Ram has increased by 12 kalas. How is that? So far I only knew that Ram is a Rajkumar. He is a prince. And today you are telling me that he is also the avatar of 12 kalas. So my love has increased by 12 kalas. So this was a joking reply. But the principle is Sarve Puna. All the avatars are Paripoon. Now, out here, a question arises that if they are all one, whom should I choose as my Ishtadev? Means you cannot attach your mind to all of them. So if you try and attach your mind to all the forms of God, you will develop love for none. That is why we have the system that you choose one Ishtadev. And then try and attach your mind to that one Ishtadev and respect all the others. How do you choose the Ishtadev? When it comes to choosing the Ishtadev, this question will arise. Which avatar has a very attractive form? If the form of God is attractive, it will be easy to attach the mind and easy to engage in devotion. Now, Nrising is also an avatar. But if you try and meditate on the lion form, the mind will not get pulled. You will be at a disadvantage in bhakti. So naturally, it is easier and advantageous to choose for your Ishtadev that avatar whose form is very attractive. From that point of view, it is easier to have Ram and Krishna as your Ishtadevs. Now, alongside with that, if there are many sweet Leelas as well, it becomes easier to divert the mind. Initially, to take the mind to God, the Naam and Rup are not enough. You want some sweet leelas to enchant the mind. So these sweet leelas you find again in Krishna and in Ram. That is why you will find the maximum number of worshippers of Krishna and Ram in Bharatvarsh. Even in that, in the Krishna Swarup, there are four Madhuris that don't manifest in any other Swarup. One is the Leela Madhuri, the sweetness of his pastimes. The second is the Murli Madhuri, the sweetness of his flute. The third is the Prema Madhuri, his Bhakta Vashyata, how he gets enslaved, tied by Yashoda, etc. And the fourth is his Roop Madhuri, his Tribhangi Lal Chabi. So these four rasas are special to the Krishna form. Doesn't mean that he is big and Ram is small. And there is one more advantage. Towards Sri Krishna, you don't even have to think of him as God. 
Now you come into the Brajras. He is my friend. Come on, Kanahiya, I'll put my arm around you. Or he is my child, as they do in Pushti Marg. Or he is my soul, beloved. And that is why the sweetness of the bhakti increases. So the Rasik saints say that, you know, the bliss of bhakti we want, we will get it from Krishna. Similarly, Radha and Durga are the same. They are both Yoga Maya, we had discussed. Radha Tvam Radhika Devi Goloke Gokule Tatha Vaikunte Chama Lakshmi Bhavati Saraswati etc. But the difference is as Durga, she is in a different mood, in an Aishwarya Bhav. And as Radha, she is in a different mood. She is in the Prem Bhav. The Bhakti Ras that we want, we get it from the Radha Bhav. It's just like a little child was going home from school, thinking my mother will be there and she will shower her affection. She'll give me a hug and feed me with her hands. It will be so nice. But when she reached home, she found her mother's mood a little different. The mother had a stick in her hand and she was beating his elder brother. The child said, Mummy's mood is not all right. Let me go into my bedroom and she's normal. I'll speak to her. It's the same mother, but the moods are different. So as Durga, as Kali, she's killing demons, etc. And as Radha, she's not interested. She is only showering Bhakti Ras. That is why there's an advantage in worshipping the Divine Mother in that form. Now, come to the next point. Somebody says, you know, Swamiji, all my life I was worshipping Ganesh. Now if I start worshipping Krishna, I am scared that Ganesh will get annoyed. I was worshipping Ram as my Ishtadev. Now if I worship Krishna, I am scared. I hope I am not committing an aparad. Is my Ishtadev getting changed? Absolutely not. There is no question of Ishtadev getting changed. You see, it is the same Ram who came as Krishna. There is a Leela of Krishna. When he was little, Yashoda used to put him to sleep. And little children, when they are put to sleep, the mother relates a story. That is called Lori. So she would relate a Lori. On this day, she thought, let me relate the story of Ram. So she said, Ram, O Nam, Vabhu. And Krishna is falling half asleep, so he says, hmm. Ramo nama babu, hmm, tadabala siete, hmm, tam pitur vacha panchavati mane nevasitas tasya haradravana. My Lala, there was one Rajkumar called Ram. His wife was Sita, and he had a brother called Lakshman. On the father's instruction, they went into the forest. And when they were in Panchavati, one demon Ravan came and kidnapped Sita and took her away. So Krishna was listening and going to sleep. And all of a sudden when she said that Ravan snatched Sita away, all of a sudden Krishna got up. Krishna Syaiva Puratani Nijakatha Mahkarnya Matre Ritam Saumitre Kwa Dhanur Dhanur Dhanurite Vyagya Gera Pantuna Krishna got up. Ha Sita! Ha Sita! Lakshman, where is my bow? Yashoda thought, what is happening to my Lala? I am telling him the story of Ram. What is going on with him? 
she did not realize that the viraha of sita was experienced by him in the previous avatar so hearing the story he got remembrance of that viraha and that is why he is doing ha sita ha sita so when ram came as krishna many of the devotees came along lakshman came as balaram kripalu ji maharaj has written a pad avadh ke ram bane braj sham lakhan bane balaram jaan ki radha rani naam avadh ke ram bane braj sham so lakshman became balaram because the problem was that lakshman would serve ram he would be pressing his feet ram would say it's 12 o'clock now go to sleep are bhaiya let me still do a little more seva so lakshman would still keep pressing that 1 o'clock ram would say all right enough now go to sleep so finally at 2 o'clock ram would say i am the elder brother i am ordering you go to sleep so lakshman would have to obey lakshman thought all right now next time i will not allow him to have this advantage <laughs> so he came as the elder brother now he could serve to his heart's content if krishna said anything then balaram would say i am the elder brother chop quiet don't say anything so in the same way bharat came as pradyumna the son of krishna shatrughna came as aniruddh even hanuman came and he sat on the flag of the chariot of arjun that is why there is a story that when arjun was battling karan when arjun would shoot an arrow karan's chariot would be thrown back by a foot shri krishna would not applaud and then karan would shoot an arrow and arjun's chariot would move one inch and shri krishna would say wah karan kamal kar diya so arjun felt very bad that shri krishna is praising karan so much and he is not encouraging me at all he said shri krishna i am getting demoralized am i not doing well i am pushing karan's chariot back by a foot shri krishna said arjun on your chariot hanuman is sitting even if karan pushes it back by an inch it is a big achievement that is why i am applauding and finally when the battle was over shri krishna said arjun today when i leave the chariot you jump off quickly so shri krishna left and arjun jumped off and the moment he jumped off the whole chariot exploded shri krishna said that it was hanuman who was holding it together now hanuman from ramat avatar came to krishna avatar do you think his ishta dev changed was hanuman fearful oh my my if i come to krishna avatar my ishta dev will get changed even jambavant came jambavant had this one desire that i wish to engage in a fight and a friendly fight with krishna so he got that opportunity the so krishna and jambavant fought for 28 days at the end jambavan said jane twam sarva bhutanam prana ojasaho balam vishnum purana purusham prabha vishnu madhishwaram i understand o oh krishna you are the supreme divine personality himself so when he got weakened and he lost he said i understand who you are 
So Jambavant, when he came to Krishna Avatar, it's not that his Ishtadev changed. In fact, even Surpankha came. We have discussed about Surpankha, right? The Surpankha, Ram got her nose and ears cut. You say, what sin did Surpankha do that God should get this done to her? Surpankha said to Ram, you are my beloved. So Ram is God. God says, I am the beloved of all the souls. If Surpankha got attracted to Ram, what was the aparad there? Ram says that I am patim patinam paramam parastad, I am the husband of all the souls. Surpankha got attracted, the big yogis and munis of Dandakaranya got attracted. But Ram had to do his leela. And for the sake of the leela, he needed her nose and ears to be cut. So next time when he came as Krishna, he did the price chit. In other words, the same Surpankha came as Kubja and Krishna accepted her and gave her the seat of Lakshmi. So all these devotees from Ramavatar came to the Krishna avatar. That is why this fear needs to be thrown out. Fear has no place in bhakti. Swami Vivekanand said, devotion motivated by fear is the lowest kind of devotion. That is the Vaidhi Bhakti. Do like this, otherwise Aparad. Do like this, otherwise Aparad. Don't do this, otherwise Aparad. And Raganuga Bhakti is natural love. He is mine and I love him. So, if still you have any doubt, you can say, All right, I was worshipping Ganesh till yesterday. Now, Ganesh Ji, you reside in my Shri Krishna and I will worship you in my worship to Shri Krishna alongside. So, one thing we have understood that all the avatars are one and there is no distinction between them. Now, further, in the form of God, His attributes also reside his name also resides. Kripaluji Maharaj is saying ki naam me roop bhi hai, gun bhi hai, leela bhi hai, dham bhi hai, sant bhi hai. Roop me naam bhi hai, gun bhi hai, leela bhi hai, dham bhi hai, sant bhi hai. Aur dham me naam bhi hai, roop bhi hai, leela bhi hai, aur sant bhi hai, aur gun bhi hai. In other words, all reside in each other. Bhakti bhakta bhagavant guru Chatura Nama Vapu Eka. They all are non different from each other. This is the spiritual realm. Just like in the world, if you catch the electric wire, the voltage comes in you. Now, if somebody catches you, the voltage comes in him as well. In India, they have 220 volts electric supply, right? So, when the first the electricity came to the villages, people died. One person caught the wire. Are, main to pagda gaya, bachao, bachao. So, somebody said, I will save you. He came and he was also pulled. The next came, I will save you. He came, he was also pulled. In other words, whoever is catching the wire is getting the 220 volts with him. So, in the same way, this Nam, Roop, Leela, Gun, Dham, Sant, they are all one and all of them reside in each other. Hence, there is no distinction. So, Kripaluji Maharaj says that you can attach your mind to any, to the abode of God, to His form. Deha Dehi Vibhedoyam Neshvare Vidyate Kachit Matsya Puran Deha Dehi Vidhas Chaiva Nanyas Chaiva Kadachana Narad Pancharatra The Deh and Dehi 
distinction doesn't exist for God. It exists for us. The soul is different. The body is different. Even when we go to Golok, now we will get a divine body. But there is a body in us. Now in the case of God, that distinction does not exist. He is his body. So Dehi Vidhaschaiva Nanyasyaiva Kadachana. They are both one. Angani Asya Sakalendriya Vritti Manti Pashyanti Panti Kalayanti Chiram Jaganti Ananda Chinmaya Sadujvala Vigrahasya Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami. Brahmaji says, O oh Sri Krishna, your every part of your body is non different from every other part. Now this is the spiritual realm. Well, just like God's body is one with him, so also his Nam, his Gun, his Leela, his Dham and his Sant. They are all one. So we can attach our mind anywhere in the divine realm. It will be purified.